So the difficult topic of immersion has come up recently and I wanted to take a moment to have a look at what immersion really is. <laughs> By its very nature, immersion is difficult to define. This is because of how subjective the experience is. So on this topic, Janet Murray said, immersion is a metaphorical term derived from the physical experience of being submerged in water. That experience of being completely in a separate world where all of our senses are being fed different information than we would normally be is the type of experience that we're talking about here. But it also makes it very difficult to define. In fact, the definition goes from very challenging to completely useless, depending upon how we look at it. I'll explain. The main problem with defining immersion is that we all have different experiences of it. Two people can be exposed to the same media, be it a movie, game, video game, whatever the case might be, and have completely different experiences taken from that. We can also experience different types of immersion. We can be immersed in a character versus being immersed in a setting, and they're not the same thing. We can also be immersed as a group, as we're used to seeing in many role-playing games. Or there also are role-playing games, such as the ones that the LARP organization, I believe it's called Jeep Form, although I'm not sure how the proper pronunciation, they're Nordic, and I'm not sure what that means. However, they encourage an individual experience within a group setting. Now there are some good and bad things here as well. The good is that not everybody has to be immersed in the same way or to the same level for a group to function. On the other hand, studying immersion has led to some misconceptions. There's a concept that is referred to as immersive fallacy, which is actually referring to how people try to associate immersion with realism. It has been found across different types of media that it is more important for ideas to coalesce within the imagined environment. A perfect example of this is chess. Now, very few people would consider chess to be an immersive game. However, I have a friend who can play it blindfolded. Now, I may never ever play any type of game or watch any type of media where I will be so immersed as my friend as he's playing chess and winning while blindfolded. But that doesn't rule out simulationists, or gamists, or narrativists. We all have our little niche within the concept of immersion, which is why it is so difficult to define. There's a psychological term called the magic circle, and it refers to the imagined environment which people are brought into in, for example, gaming. Now, games have a specific goal. The goal being to bring players into the magic circle and keep them there until the goals of the game are met. The best definition I've found to date of immersion with respect to RPGs comes from Ron Edwards. He says, It's what role-playing feels like when a particular set of techniques is put into action and works within a particular group-slash-activity context. Immersion may be too difficult a term for us to define and might not be a useful term for us to use at all. But I'm curious to hear what you have to say. On another note, I'm interested in getting more of a dialogue going. I've placed some notes down below on how we can get started, but I'm open to ideas. Please leave a comment.